So I think um, it would be good to uh, hear about what it is you hope the viewer feels when, or something that they can walk away with when they're looking at your art. I mean, art, as we know, uh, many of the reasons uh, people buy art is for subjective reasons. You know, it, it makes them feel a specific way, or it brings on some memory, or something like that. Um, and uh, sometimes that's on the mind of the artist, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's just the artist is creating whatever they want to create. Is that part of your process? Is there something that you hope the, the collector or the viewer walks away with after they experience your pieces? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the most interesting thing for me in the relationship with understanding the earth and painting is that moment when it, it's like the light hit the ocean between the clouds or something, an anomaly. You know, it's, it's normal everywhere, but there's a pink flash you know, where there's a girl goes by on a pink bicycle. There's a moment that you're transported, maybe looking at that girl on the bicycle going by wearing a pink shirt because she stood out, but it triggered, mm. like you were saying, a moment. So in this painting, I probably would have kept working on this, except I hung it on the wall and I started living with it. And I realized that this blue coming through here was a moment for me to say, oh, this kind of feels like point rays. My girlfriend actually said that. And I'm looking through the clouds down. Now, the, mm. the buyer is not really buying a piece of wood with paint on it. Any monkey, cat, or elephant can paint. <laughs> They're buying this moment that reminded them of Santa Monica when they went on vacation with their wife, or their kid had such a good time in the waves. Or I went to Yosemite and I watched the geysers blow, mm -hmm. and that painting somehow, and it's a tool, like anything else, and it's really a song. It's oh, a beautiful. song you get to hear it over and over again. You ever hear a song and you're just like, you're back yeah. being a teenager, or you're like, this is the, you get that moment, that tingling moment of like, this is a peak yeah. of my spirituality. I may be like overweight or, or not eating right or I'm not exercising enough and I'm, but that mind can still reach that peak. And I think color reaches everybody in a way that yeah. music or is not confrontational. Yeah. That's why some people don't get it. You watch them walk in and they're like, oh, and they walk away. But the people who stand are listening to the, the they're song. Connecting to they're, connecting they're connecting to it. They're feeling, they're connecting to it, and having their own experience. Right, and, then, and, it, and so the buyer hears the song over and over again. You do buy, I mean, I, we had that conversation about value. Mm -hmm. No longer are people buying Warhols, even if they're not great ones, just mm -hmm. because they still are, don't get me wrong. Sure. That's a very good investment. But people really want to connect to themselves as being the stars in the happening. And my fan, because I'm painting too, that's what they taught me in graduate school. Know your audience, know who your fans nice. are, and play to them. Pete Townsend, one of my favorite musicians, he said, I play the music, but they're your words. Oh, that's yes. fantastic. Yes, yeah, though his words told my story. So I'm hoping in color You're just a channel. to get you to that magical place where you go, aha. Mm. And that's why they're so quiet and not really like in your face with skill or they're skill, but it's sure. a quieter level of skill. It's like it's almost like like a, a being human skill. Like it's right. getting in touch with Absolutely. yourself skill, uh, lining yourself up in order for this to come out. You're and you're, you're painting your humanity for another person to connect their humanity to. Absolutely. So therefore, this is a tool for them to use. So they're part. They're part of it. See, but then, then the it's amazing. Why would you even ever want to value that anyway? <laughs> like, and you just want to pay so much money. You can't really. And if I did like, that, I would have 70 paintings yeah. around me I would never sell. There we go. Because look at how beautiful the rainbow happened right here. Yeah. I can't sell that. Yeah. But I give it give that away. So that it's not a value of what you pay me. When you pay an artist for work, you're acknowledging the hours, the time, the value that yeah. goes into it. Plus, the viewer's experience equals... And you buy a family heirloom. Wonderful. You buy something for your entire life. Cool. And it gets passed down. Nice. Nice. So.